Did you hear about the recent earthquake in New York and New Jersey? Yes, it's true. On April 5, 2024, the U.S. Geological Survey reported an earthquake that shook both states. The magnitude of this quake was somewhat disputed, with the U.S. Geological Survey placing it at either a 4.7 or 4.8, while the European Mediterranean Seismological Center reported a stronger magnitude of 5.5. The earthquake's epicenter was near White House Station, New Jersey, about 40 miles west of New York City. This tremor sent ripples of shock throughout the metropolitan area of New York City. Although the shaking was significant, it is a relief to report that no major injuries were reported. However, it did cause minor damage to some buildings. Now, you might be wondering, why were there no victims? The answer lies in the characteristics of the earthquake itself. Earthquakes are measured on the Richter scale with a higher number indicating a stronger quake. A quake of 4.7 to 5.5 is considered moderate and typically wouldn't result in widespread building collapses. Furthermore, the epicenter's location also played a crucial role in minimizing the impact. Being situated away from densely populated areas like New York City significantly reduced the risk of casualties. In conclusion, the recent earthquake in New York and New Jersey, with its epicenter near White House Station, New Jersey, and a magnitude between 4.7 and 5.5 caused minor damage, but thankfully, no major injuries. The earthquake's moderate strength coupled with the epicenter's distance from major population centers likely contributed to the absence of casualties. Remember, understanding the nature of these natural phenomena can help us better prepare and respond when they occur. Stay safe, stay informed, and keep an eye out for more enlightening discussions.